I'm Judy Shaw for NYC Floor Talk. Joining me today is David Mann, head of ETF Capital Markets at Franklin Templeton. But before we get started, a quick, quick reminder to our viewers that this is for informational purposes only, and we are not providing any recommendations or any advice. David, thank you so much for joining me. Great. Thanks for having me, Judy. So, David, let's talk about fixed income ETFs. They've been in the news a lot recently. What are you telling your clients right now about the trading of fixed income ETFs? Yeah, sure. Certainly lots of discussion on fixed income ETFs. Um, and I would say in general, I would put the conversation in, in, into three buckets. Uh, the first is, hey, the NAV's up at 100, but your ETF is trading at a discount to that value. So can you walk us through why we're seeing those types of um, discounts in the trading of your uh, fixed income ETFs? Uh, secondly, was big news that the uh, Fed was going to start buying um, investment grade corporate ETFs. So which ETFs and how's that going to work? And then more broadly, you know, uh, especially being an active manager, walk us through why um, active management should shine in these times uh, for fixed income investing. Okay, you mentioned ETF discounts. Can you go into some more detail on that and tell me, is it a ding against how ETFs should behave in times of stress? No, sure. No, uh, ETFs have been um, performing uh, as they're supposed to. Uh, you know, the value of the ETF starts from uh, the value of the underlying securities. In this case, that's going to be um, uh, the underlying bonds. And if there's lots of selling pressure, uh, the price that the ETF trades should be the price where those market participants can sell the underlying bonds. And so if, um, you know, even if the value uh, of the NAV is 100, if they think, well, we're not going to be able to sell those bonds, um, you know, all the way down to 95, let's say, then that's where the ETF price would be reflected because during redemption, that's where they would get those bonds back. So really, it's just serving as a price discovery vehicle to say this is where we think the actionable price of those uh, of the selling of those bonds would be. Okay. Now, you recently wrote about the Fed buying fixed income ETFs that provide exposure to investment grade bonds. Tell me about what you think the Fed should be doing here. Uh, yeah, that was that was big news. Uh, certainly, the the headline was they're going to have a secondary uh, market facility to buy investment grade corporate bonds. ETFs were um, were added to that, and so there's been speculation um, which ETFs are gonna, are they going to buy? Um, you know, we estimate there's probably about 140, 150 billion of, of of assets that would meet the criteria as determined by the Fed. Um, you know, we we think the spirit is they want to own the underlying bonds, so that's where we think um, it would make the most sense for them to just buy across the whole spectrum of of funds. Um, you know, you want to get to the underlying bonds. And so some of the actually the more liquid ETFs, somewhat counterintuitively, that buying may not necessarily get reflected into flows into the underlying bond market. So uh, we think as you kind of go across the whole spectrum of those investment grade bonds, uh, we think um, we think it, we think it would make more sense to include all of them, ours included. OK, and finally, what are your thoughts on the active versus passive debate especially given times of volatility? Uh, yeah, no, this is where we think active managers can shine, um, you know, especially sticking with the theme of investment-grade corporate uh, ETFs. Uh, lots of uncertainty in the market right now, which, you know, which businesses are getting impacted, which ones we think will come out um, for this current uh, crisis um, favorably and having the ability to have the bottom-up research team thinking about those um, companies and which ones um, to to make those types of decisions to own those uh, to own that debt as opposed to just simply the index which is going to have a set of rules so being able to be nimble uh, we think is where the active manager can shine okay well David Mann thank you so much for joining me on NYC floor talk great thanks for having me